you would have to acknowledge that the man has handled himself so superbly, yeah. so logically, and he's he's been such an, a critical thinker and so so level headed. It's really hard to pin anything on him. And, and I think proof positive of that. I'm going to start here. I want to show you the clips that the left are circulating. I found these either on HuffPo or BuzzFeed that they see as victories against Gorsuch. <laughs> so I want to show you their best hand where the left is going, oh, Al Franken just nailed Gorsuch. So I'm not hiding from you and showing you the highlight reel. I'm showing you the low light reel as far as they're concerned. Uh, and, and then we'll get into a few more more clips from Gorsuch. But let's start with Senator Smalley, Al Franken. This is the one making the rounds on the leftist websites. You were very politically okay. active. So in light of that, I'd like to ask my Oh, wait, question pause. Again. Just Do pause real quick. Just so you know, before this, uh, we can pause it, right? In real time. Yeah. Uh, Senator Franken was trying to hit him with all kinds of legalese, talking about uh, the absurdity doctrine and uh, talking about his, his history in politics, Neil Gorsuch's history in politics before he was a justice. So he was really trying to corner him. We just couldn't show the 14-minute diatribe that was delivered before that because I think this is the most relevant information. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll comment as we go live. Okay, continue. Thank Merrick Garland was treated fairly by the United States Senate. Senator, a couple of things in response to that, if I might. Going this back, uh, yeah. the absurdity doctrine argument was never presented to the court. And it usually applies in cases where there's a Scrivener's error, not when we just disagree with the policy of the statute. So I appreciate the opportunity to respond there. Watch. When there is a Scrivener there. <laughs> Scribner's error. Error. <laughs> error. Okay, yeah. oh, so the two um, faces, the face from Gorsuch is like, I can't believe how dumb uh, you are. With respect to... Well, and Al Franken is, oh crap. Interpretation oh, uh, he's got a pamphlet. Got a big word. <laughs> statutory. The uh, Notre Dame Law oh, School National Institute for Trial Advocacy. This is a pretty well-known exception oh, yeah. to the plain meaning rule. <laughs> and I think you can plain. apply it. Without it, I mean, Pause. don't you think it's <laughs> that moment where you try to educate an Ivy League lawyer on what the law means? Why does he have to drag Notre Dame into uh, this? Crap. Gosh, it's just he goes to his pamphlet. So here's something that's important. You'll see, tries to start off with legalese, tries to start off with legal arguments, and you'll see once that doesn't stick, he goes full chank, he goes full Young Turks, full MSNBC, <laughs> and gets personal and pivots and pivots and pivots. And I say this because this is this is what the left is sending out as a highlight. I want you to watch for the pivoting techniques that you now see in the dance that is the Al Franken waltz. Absurd that this man was put, given that choice and then fired for it? Don't you think that was absurd? Senator, my heart goes out to him. Okay, never mind. That's my heart goes out to him. How do you think Merrick Garland was treated by the <laughs> Senator, since I became a judge, <laughs> 10 years ago, I have a canon of ethics that precludes me from getting involved in any way, shape, or form in politics. The reason why judges don't clap at the State of the Union oh. and why I can't even attend a political caucus. This is an education here. To Important information. Yep. In the equivalent of a primary. Okay, but I don't think that this is a, is, you have to state your political views. That's not what, this is about how a Supreme Court Justice, who was nominated by the President Watch. of the United States. This is like in the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> is it in your pamphlet? I think you're allowed <laughs> to talk about what happened to the last It's a politically charged question, and he just got done accusing position. him of being politically no, motivated being for things he said before he was a justice. Involved in politics? You can express an opinion on this. Senator, I appreciate the invitation, but I know the other side has their views of this. And you, your side has your views of it. That, by definition, is politics. Okay. okay. And, <laughs> and, and Senator judges have to stay outside of politics. I think the world of Merrick Garland, I think he's an outstanding judge. Okay, I understand. I've told you what I think. I understand. Him. Thank you, thank you. I, 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 I don't mean to cut you off, but you know we have time. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think yours is running out. <laughs> Never Senator get, Franken. Never get snooty with somebody who's smarter than you. So let, let's go through that right away. He goes through legalese. He talks about the absurdity doctrine. He tries to talk about the, the, the plain interpretation. I'm trying, I don't remember the legal term that he's talking about there. So he tries to ask uh, uh, Gorsuch about this. In other words, trying to corner him legally. He answers legally, educates him on the, <laughs> the, the scrivener there. A uh, scribbler? A scribbler. A so he, Gorsuch says, thank you, educates him. And then as the education is taking place, he goes right to, wait, 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 but what do you think about how Republicans treated Merrick Garland? So we've gone from a factual argument to an opinionative argument. 
And then he tries to go back to a factual argument with his pamphlet. <laughs> and then when Gorsuch tries to answer that again, he goes to, uh, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, 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 okay. He goes, in the one last ditch, his last ditch effort is, can I get you to trash Merrick Garland? He's like, I think he's a fantastic judge. Okay, no, oh, let's take a walk. Lost in time. Let's take a loss in the weeds. And the, and, and the left sees this, HuffPo <laughs> and BuzzFeed see this as a victory. I don't know, you can tweet me at Esquire. You, you think that was a stellar performance for Al Franken? I'm trying to remove my biased glasses. Obviously, I'm conservative. I'm open about that. But I watched that and I was going, <laughs> this is your A material? Dang. If that's the A material, their B material. This one is more popular on the feminist <laughs> websites because it's, uh. it's none other than Diane Feinstein. She tried to corner him on a question regarding the second amendment. Again, these are the, oh wait, no, are we doing that one right now? Yep. Yeah, Diane Feinstein. These are the highlights that the, this is what, if you were reading liberal sites, they are sending around. Feinstein. Do you agree with that statement that under the second amendment, Weapons that are most useful in military service, M16 rifles, and the like, may be banned. Pause. And the like is somewhat pivotal <laughs> when it comes to law. Some would say that umbrella of and the like is probably <laughs> the key point in this phrase. And the like. Hmm. Well, well, let me answer your question. Uh, hold on a second. What bullshit are you fitting in and the like? <laughs> Can I ask that first? And the like. Scary. Well, what is in the like? Well, you know, AK-47s, AR-15s, nuclear bombs. We'll see. Hold on. That changes. <laughs> so it's important. They always leave themselves a little, little, little back door out there. She was hoping to, but guess what? It didn't work. Roll clip. <laughs> Senator Heller makes clear the standard that we judges are supposed to apply. The question is whether it's a gun in common use. <laughs> for self-defense. You're following me? And that may be subject no. to reasonable regulation. That's the test, as I understand it. There's lots of ongoing litigation about which weapons qualify under those standards. And I can't prejudge that litigation. No, I'm just here. asking you, do you agree with his statement, yes or no? Uh, other statements out of uh, the Heller decision a, from the a, United a States? Justice Scalia's statement. Well, it, what, whatever's in Heller is the law. And so I follow agree. the law. Well, it's not a matter of agreeing or disagreeing, Senator, respectfully. It's a matter of it being the law. And, <laughs> and my job is to apply and enforce the law. <laughs> Here's the, the, reason, uh, the, re play. <laughs> the reason the left sees this as a victory there is only is because they are inherently anti-constitutionalist. Yes, yeah. they are inherently anti-originalist. Yeah. Almost every answer you can expect from, um, from Gorsuch here has been, this is the law, this is the appropriate role, of a justice, this isn't. This is what the Constitution says. This is what we're supposed to do as justices. Well, what do you think about high capacity, Mac? They don't like yeah. that he is actually yeah. constitutionalist because that answer is so. Any any lawyer would have to watch and say, "Well, that's that's probably the proper answer." Any constitutional <laughs> historian would have to look at that and say, "Well, you know what? That's that's actually the the proper answer." The left looks at it and goes, "He didn't say he would ban guns. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say he would ban and the like." <laughs> Notice he didn't, they didn't ask for his opinion on a Roe v. Wade and other right. such cases. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, it, it, justices are not supposed to make law. They're supposed to interpret law. Remember when Roberts rewrote Obamacare, essentially making it pass instead of sending it back like right. he should, and we got all up in arms? They're doing the exact same thing. They want him to make law, basically, from the bench instead yeah. of just interpret it. He's like, no, I'll just interpret it. Oh, exactly. that's not good enough. Yeah, not and, and something enough. that's very important, by the way. When she's You need to understand this. We've talked about this in our Second Amendment video, uh, the Heller versus D.C. case. Mm -hmm. I think, was it 2008, 2006? Either 06, 08, or 09. Um, the votes against you know, Heller versus D.C. Yes. So basically what it says is that you have, as a private citizen, the right to carry a firearm. What's important is the only legal argument against that. We've talked about this several times. It wasn't about certain weapons mm -hmm. or a magazine ban. The only legal arguments not on message boards, but that can be made in the Supreme Court were that actually, no, I have to vote against this because I don't believe that private citizens have the right to, to, to bear firearms at all. That's the only other yeah. interpretation That's The possible. only other interpretation yeah. is that uh, a well-regulated militia means state guard, national. It does not mean a private citizen has a right to own a gun mm -hmm. at all. So when they say you're crazy because you're thinking people are coming for your, are coming for your guns, four justices... <laughs> Yeah, want to come for your guns? <laughs> so read up on that 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 case. It's it's a it's very important case, and it, mm -hmm. it gives you great insight as to what the left actually can argue yep. legally. Heller versus DC, very important. Very yep. important. We've talked about that. Uh, and then finally, this is not one that the left was circulating as a victory, but just because he had to eat a big old pile of crap. <laughs> Here's Dick Durbin trying to set him up 
with a question that he heard somebody say he asked in a class. It, spoiler alert, it doesn't go well for him. So I just want to ask you to confirm, did you ask your students in class that day to raise their hands if they knew of a woman who had taken maternity benefits from a company and then left the company after having a baby? Suppose an older partner woman at the firm. I just want you to confirm, do some students not like you? If you become pregnant soon. What are your choices as a young person? You can say yes, tell the truth, and not get the job. You can lie, maybe get the job, you can say no, or you can push back in some way, shape, or form. And we talk about the pros and the cons in a Socratic dialogue. And Senator, I do ask for a show of hands, not about the question you asked, but about the following question. And I ask it of everybody. How many of you have had questions like this asked of you in the employment environment? An inappropriate question about your family planning. And I am shocked every year, Senator, how many young women raise their hand. It's disturbing to me. And after that, Durbin goes, oh, oh yeah, it's just someone said you maybe asked this. And yeah. <laughs> I figured I had to. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, of course. Oh, lunch break? I brought tuna. <laughs> <laughs> He's in, oh, oh, so you're saying, oh, wait, no, you're saying exactly what I agree with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing, the setups. And I will tell you this, I know that I couldn't navigate the minefield that they're laying for them. I know none of us could because no, someone would have their sh- neck just wrung. Just, <laughs> Dick Durbin. So the, how he handled himself, I will say this. I didn't know a ton about Gorsuch outside of his opinions on life, Second Amendment, that he was a, a constitutionalist, all of which I liked. But, you know, it's hard to get a feel for someone's temperament yeah. uh, just reading his history. Mm-hmm. Watching these, and I highly recommend you watch as, as, as much footage as you can, um, I, I think the guy has the perfect temperament to be an even-handed judge. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button. It's a circular button now that says subscribe. If not, head on over to the Young Turks. That's probably more your speed. Although they're coming over here. Chank, we know you're here watching. Uh, I can smell you from here. There's also a recommended video box playing right up there. You can join the Mug Club at lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club for daily content. So we're not dependent here on YouTube. Chank, go. No. Go. You don't need to stay here. This isn't good. for. It's bad for your soul.